we had some great questions coming in. Uh, the first one comes from Claudia, and they they are at Klausis on Instagram, mm-hmm. and she asks, "How do you properly credit your team members on a group project? Do you link their websites? Do you just write in their names? What do you do?" And you know, I assume this is more geared toward uh, school projects, um, but also it could be industry projects as well. Mm-hmm. Is there a way to properly credit your team members? I mean, I think I think the problem here is, especially when you graduate school and you have your portfolio of, hey, I was on this team with five other designers, and you show all these sketches and models in the final render, the employer is like, what exactly did you do specifically? Yeah. Well, one thing is, and I remember this from school when we were in portfolio class, um, something that has stuck with me was don't put any sketches in your portfolio that are not your sketches. Okay. Because because sketches are a very personal thing. Like that is like a a skill that is personal to the designer. That's true. If I would look through a portfolio and I saw sketches, I would assume that it's yours. Yeah. Um, but what about renders? Renders or three D modeling. Okay. Because that's a that's a pretty important skill. And if an employer sees a hot render or a hot three D model. But you didn't do it. You weren't right. part of that, part of the process in that. That that's a bit tricky. I think you should define define the role that you that you uh, occupied within the group. Um, but I think that I think that the final product is is presentable by everyone. I mean, the person who did the rendering should call out. In their within their portfolio, that their role was the rendering, right? But I feel like the model itself. I mean, probably there was there were multiple people that had input into the final design. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And how that came to be, you know. But um, I mean, I think at baseline, you definitely need to credit your team members if you have a team project. But that, here, <laughs> that's the first thing to do, right? right. But here's the thing. Uh-oh. You cannot pull the wool over your uh, employer's eyes because they will look at your other projects and find out where your strengths are. Oh, yeah. You're never going to trick someone. You're never going to trick somebody. Yeah. So if you use a rendering that you know was uh, created by somebody for the group project, I mean, I-, I do think that that's up for grabs because... It showcases the final design. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I would agree with that. But you're not going to convince anybody unless you show those chops elsewhere in your portfolio that that you have those skills. Right. Yeah. If your portfolio is all filled with team projects, and and you can't really define what part you did, I mean, that's not good. That's not a good sign. Yeah. You have point. to. You have to showcase what it is that you are capable of doing. Do you link their websites or no? Do you link your team members' websites? Well, I know on Behance, it has like the collaborative function. Yeah. Which I think is really great. Because that, when you do that, then the employer can go and click on each team member and be able to see the skill sets that they attributed to. One thing that I love about the um, industrial design firm Minimal in Chicago is Every single they post every single one of their projects on Behance, and they they have every person who worked on the project connected to that project. You know they right. they have it as a collaborative project. Right. And you know like Scott Wilson is in all of them. Right. For the most part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it also has all the other individual team members, and I think that's awesome. I think that like a firm like that recognizing like. You know, minimal is not called Scott Wilson Studios. It's called minimal, and and it's great that he is spreading the wealth. Of course, you know? of course, for sure. Um. So yeah, I I think that, I mean, I don't think anybody would be like, oh, what is this person doing linking all these other people? Like, yeah, I, I think that that's it's that's perfectly, like it's perfectly acceptable. A great kindness that you do to your other team members. And I think for those, I think Klausus was maybe concerned about other people 
not crediting her in mm-hmm. their portfolio. And oh. I, and I'll, I'll just say that, you know, you don't have to worry about them. Again, they're going to hit the roadblock of if they ever get hired, the employer's going to be like, hey, do that sexy render that you showed in your portfolio. And then they're going to be like, oh, crap. I can't <laughs> um, but so I, I really wouldn't really stress about it. But, yeah, I would definitely say credit your team members. Say what you did specifically. I like the the idea of only show your sketches no matter what. But I think it's okay to show the final render and just credit it said, saying that your team did it or you didn't. I mean, you put input into the design, but it was a team project. Right. I, I have to interject here because um, Claudia's uh, handle has reminded me of something. Some, What's that? Some cocktail party trivia. Okay. Uh, for those listeners out there. Um, I'm currently the only person drinking on this podcast because Nick says he's getting sick, quote unquote. But um, so uh, I'm going to run off the rails for a second. Okay. Something I learned when I was traveling through Italy. Do you know you know what the Colosseum's original name was? Klausus. No. That would have been good. I mean, what that was? Like, what was it? It was the Flavian Amphitheater. Oh, okay. Because what does Flavian mean? Uh, I think they were the patrons of the of the the stadium, basically. Okay. But the reason that it's called the Colosseum is because there was a giant colossus, like you know, size statue out in front of it, and so it essentially got nicknamed the Colosseum. Got it. Got it. Um, okay. So yeah, just a little trivia. Fun for facts. You. Fun facts for We're your next tri- trivia night. We're here sweating the small stuff, <laughs> laying out the fun facts. Oh man. Oh man. Um, yeah. Thanks for sending that in, Claudia. Yes. Thank you. 